Hey Airbenders, I'm Melanie Florence. Welcome to Hot Tea for the Soul, the weekly elemental edition for the autumn equinox. So, or the spring, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, let's go both ways. So we're hitting equinox time. So halfway through, I guess, our, our, our seasons, we're going into, fall, into the autumn here in the Southern Hemisphere and, and, and spring in the, in the Northern, right? So, um... I'm going to do a bit of a build up and see what energies we've got going around the air peeps this week. And then I'm going to do a green ward reading, which is the deck that I've been using forever. And then I'm going to uh, do the individual start signs and I'll put them in the time stamps. So if you are after a personal reading, I do a YouTube clip just like this, a link and send it directly to you so you can peruse at your own leisure, right? Um, but we do, we sip the tea and I can do a sweetheart tea for you if you're interested. I can do any sort of tea for you. Uh, let me know. Um, $50 Australian dollars for the next month uh, and I will send it directly to you. So uh, let's see, let's see what we've got. I've got a bit of a witch's brew hanging around. That's what I've got. I've got a bit of a witch's brick hanging around. So we're going to start with the spell casting oracle. What do we have? The spell casting oracle. Alright, the spell casting oracle. What do we got? Ah, come on. Something for the air peeps. I know there's something in there. Come on. Whew. Clarity. All right, things become clear, things become in focus, like a bit of a crystal ball, a bit like a pixel in a movie screen. You know, when the pixel in the computer screen comes together and the picture just is like all of a sudden, pop, and then it's crystal clear. Something is going to give you clarity. All right, you're going to see something a little bit more transparent. You might be seeing it from a different angle. All right, it might appear a different way for you, but you're going to get some clarity, a little bit of clarity. Okay, it's a nice place to start air, people. Clear thinking, let's go there. Okay, uh, the green witch oracle. Some stuff from the garden. Let's see what we've got from the garden. That one. Oh, basil. Trust. Trust. All right. So a lot of these herbs, these herbs are um, fire. We've got fire herbs, right? And so trust and being able to trust in the truth. Uh, and basil always has a little bit to do with money. And here we've got an all-seeing eye. So it's maybe about trust within, between people. Uh, and is that Scorpio, maybe, at the top? I should go all over my star signs again. Mm. Um, yeah, so this is about trust and basil and money and energy. All right, something's going to become clear. Something about trust. Maybe somebody you haven't trusted, but something's going to become clear, and you can trust it. All right? You can trust it like basil. Okay, the next card is from the Goddess Dream Oracle. Okay, what have we got? Happiness. All right. This is a very fertile, abundant moment. There's a lot of leaping in here. There might be a lot of leaping for joy. What does it say? Joy of life. They are leaping for joy. You've got a lot of joy lost. There's a lot of abundance around here. This is a real happy place. I'd almost go. This is a bit like the green woman. Look at the abundance and the flowers. And it's got a nice Virgo energy, that nice Empress energy around it. It's a strong, fertile happiness. Happiness. Jump in for joy. All right. Something's going to become clear. You can trust it. Going to end up jumping for joy. These are nice air. Uh, one more. I've got a Lucy Cavendish deck called... I never remember names. I'm so bad with names. And now I try to remember names of decks, right? Hmm. Um, what is it? It is Oracle of the Hidden Worlds. Lucy Cavendish. Oh, again, the path of the gods. Look at these little fairies going down through the garden. And it's about the path of gods. What's your path? And you are going down your path. And you're trusting your path. You're trusting your divine knowledge inside of here with this trust card. All right, with this fire element. There's a lot of faith inside of that. All right, and this is heading to those sort of lands. So this is divine timing. Decisions, meetings, and future plans. As we talk and we skip through the garden, right? And so it's the path of the gods. What's the decisions and meetings and future plans? It's all sort of some destiny inside of this. And you've got to trust something is going to become clear. Okay. The next card we... Oh, what I'm going to do next? What next card? Next card. Uh, I'm going to do a Greenwood reading. I'm going to turn it down so you can see that it builds up on the table and see where it progresses, right? And um, we're going to start with your present state and see what energies surround you. So the Greenwood's about the simple energies from uh, that are around us in our basic elements. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All right, what have we got? Oh, I'm going to take that one because it's up and I'll take that one because it's down. So this is, we're going to start with 
There's some, the sun is shining on you and deadness. It's for you to be able to feel this. There's happiness around you. This goes with this happiness. This goes with this path of the gods. This feeling the divineness inside of you. You're feeling like you're part of the actual universe. Part of everything. And the sun's shining on your endeavors at the moment. That, that's a great place to start. More flowers. More abundance inside of here. More happiness. This is great. And we're telling everybody, this is the queen. So you might be feeling queen of arrows. So you are in your own state. You might be trusting your own mind. You might feel like... You can trust yourself, but this is the queen herself, the queen of air, has turned up. She has really endearing qualities because when she she's like a poet. I mean, she'll chop your head off, like, but she's a poet and she's a she's she's knowledgeable and and she really will express her love inside of his. And you will, because this is nice divine stuff, nice divine stuff, happiness. Okay, let's turn it down a bit further. See if we can get the cards properly. They are. Oh, that's better. That's better. My thing on a spring. Okay. So the next card is our pro. It's a, uh, the next card is the conscious will. I've been doing this for a while. Twenty five years. It takes a while. All right. Conscious will. Let's do this. What do we got? Ooh. Ooh. So if you're in the hot teeth of the soul group. Uh, I am today, which would be the day that I release these, it's Saturday, right? So the weekend. I will be, I got 150 peeps in the group. So I'm going to do like a, a deck party where I'm going to have the four decks that I've been using for the dailies. And I'm going to, you can pick which one you want and I'll pull you one for the deck. All right. So I've got stuff going on this weekend. All right. Reunion. Your conscious will, you're consciously thinking whether you're reunion with your childhood, reunion with your heart, reunion with a lover, reunion with family. All right, but this is a reunion of the heart, right? And so this is your conscious will. You Maybe you want to get back to a spot where you're not so worried about the world. That's this card, right? Where, you know, all your connections are smooth and we're going with that river and we're running with it. All right, we're on the path of the gods. So there is, you're consciously thinking about a reunion possibly. This card is looking at this card if you look at that that way. All right, so what is the driving force? If this is our conscious will, what's our driving force? What do we actually want? It's the source of our power. Air element. Ooh, what do you want? So this is a man. This is a, a this is a, this is the just just king, right? And it's about contracts, and he's about like dotting the I's and crossing the T's and making sure that everything's like sort of correct. And he's very in his mind, he's intellectual, he can communicate himself, he, he knows himself, he's knowledgeable and he's maybe an expert in his field. Uh, but this is the driving force. Maybe you want to be more, maybe you, you, you're more like the deer, and maybe the driving force is that you want to be like this, or this person in your life that fits this air element king. Okay, driving force, for good or bad, driving force. All right, the next card is the unconscious empathy. So maybe you want a reunion with this. Maybe maybe you're looking for this companion, this double companion, you know, and that's this reunion that you're looking. The sun shining. Okay, air element, let's see. Ooh. Unconscious. Conscious, subconscious. Up, unconscious empathy. What do we got? Fulfillment. All right. All right, this is spiritual fulfillment. This is really that happiness. This is the, the this is the joy of the fire element. As in, this is about our face and really finding fulfillment inside of that area, in that, that spot inside of us that finds that balance between our light and our dark and that we can, our body and our spirit and everything balances out. And so it's about seeking fulfillment and finding some balance and maybe bringing closure to something or moving forward on something uh, on this path of the gods that we're on. All right, we've got trust and clarity is coming through. Okay. The next card is what we need to work on, the challenge. What do we need to work on? What do we need to work on? What's the challenge? Okay. That's a lot of thoughts, and it's getting on top of your thoughts. That is what your challenge is. There's a lot of insecurities. There's a lot of heat. You feel like you're being watched. It feels like, you know, you maybe you're not in control of what your mind and those sort of things. But this is your challenge is to pull this in and maybe not, you know, with the seven, it's meant to be a healing element. So maybe write lists and actually write it down, get it out, worry, work out what your actual worries are and what your insecurities are so you can make them secure. And quite often when we get them out of our head, they're not the monsters that they were when we had them inside, right? So this is a really um, challenging challenge because you're really worried about your insecurities. It might be panic attacks. You might need to breathe a little, right? But it's meant to be healing in the seven. 
Okay, so worrying about what other people are saying, worrying about what outcomes are. Worry, worry, worry. Worry is credit paid on trouble before it's due. All right, bring it back. That's your challenge is to not be so insecure about some stuff, right? What's the healing element? What's going to help you? All right. All right. What's going to help? Our air peeps. Endurance. I got the power. Up. You know what? This doesn't look eventful. I mean, it's something beautiful. It's a spot that you have that you are secure. You've created your own protection that you can actually have this secure home that you can sit in and you can weather the storm. All right, and that's what this guy is doing. So it's, it's of the senses of the stone. So we are sitting and we are waiting for this to go. But you have the endurance to go through everything. All right, whatever these worries are, you are strong enough to keep going to get through everything. And that's yep, yeah, that's the power. All right, that's your healing. Is that you're strong enough to endure it all? You can do it. You can take it. You are in a good position. You're in a good position to weather the storm. Watch the storm go on outside. Because the sun is shining on you. What's the outcome for the air peeps, for the overall air element this week? Our air element, what have we got on it? What's the air element, overall outcome for the autumn equinox reading, that one. Jump. I love this card. It's actually the second time it's come up today. I love this card. Look at those beautiful wings. Look at that spirit that's already leapt out. You know, it's jumping out and doing it. It's it's taking the risk. It's not worrying about the, you know, feel the fear and do it anyway, right? Because your spirit wants to. And you got to trust that. you got to trust on the path of the gods, right? That you have the endurance to do what it is. Make your future plans. All right, make your decisions. Make your meetings. Like, and make your future plans. Jump. Jump into your life. Let go. This is the innocent. If there's something that you need to spread your wings and jump air people. It's a really beautiful position. This position of innocence in the full. Okay, you can do this. Jump into it. Jump into your life. Jump into the things you want. Take the risks for your happiness. Trust it. Trust that everything will become clear. Oh, air elements. This is a great place that we go up to. So I'm going to do the individual star signs. I'm going to start with uh, a Gemini. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. It's funny when my sister Jemima and I are together, if we call it Gem, if anybody's with us, if they say Gemini, it's, we're always going to be naughty little twins because, you know, Everybody with Jemima becomes Gemini. Okay. All right. All right. We'll put that one down. Two more for Gemini. That one. What have we got? One more for Gemini. Oh, that one. Let's go. All right. Let's go bottom tops, bottoms up. All right. This is protecting. This is protecting your own. So with this step, this is a step back from this endurance. This is where you actually secure all of this. You might be trying to secure um, protection of a child. Um, and it's showing that there's a lot of strength and you're trying to strengthen up maybe your home, strengthen your position inside of it. It's very physical strength and pulling back and pulling back and lovingly like trying to sort out what's going on inside of a uh, physical plane. All right, but it's a rest stop with the four. All right, but there's a lot of frustrations involved inside of this, whatever this is. So of the senses now in the mind, this is a really frustrating sort of circumstance because your arrows are not meeting the target, right? They're hitting everywhere. We're not able to hit the goat. We're not able to hit the ram, maybe. Uh, but it's, it's these arrows are flying off everywhere. So all your ideas are flying off everywhere. Right, again, write them down. I really think with air, air people, you should know this. Lists, write it down, get it out of your brain and action the list it's, it's really about writing it down getting it into the physical world and actioning the list right so you might be finding a few frustrations in trying to protect your physical world inside of here all right or that you know you've pulled back physically but mentally this is still off everywhere it will end this circumstance will end all right there's an ending coming there, there there's going to be a death to the circumstance that you've got ongoing all right so whether these frustrations you work them out or you are able to you know move on and you're in a safe position to sit in here this is what this card's about it's about protection so you are protected from all of this but there is going to be an outright ending for you to step out step out and become the new in gemini all right, you can do this, Gemini. Thank you very much for thank you very much for being here for the Autumn Equinox uh, Weekly Elemental Tea. Uh, if you are after a personal reading, hit me up. I will catch you later next week. Next up, we have uh, Libra. What do we got for Libra? Big deep breath. Uh, what do we got for Libra? Yeah. Come on, three cards for Libra for this Autumn Equinox. What do we got? Three cards for Libra, this autumn equinox. Oh, 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 oh. 
I got one more. One more. What do we got? One more card. Let me grab that one. Okay. So, you got real strength of position inside of this. When it was saying that you got endurance, you got endurance. You're just one step away from everything. It's like you're not even. You've got your traditions. You've got your strength of who you are. You've got strength of your passion. You've got strength in your skills and, and, you know, the things that have made you who you are. You've laid all of these foundation stones that you stand inside of. And those foundation steps stones are the stones of your home and of your house and that apple tree that you grow that grows all your scrumpies right and so you can make your cider so this is a real strong position and coming into the home of all of that on top of that we've got the fox so this might be that you know you're really strong and stable and everything's there but this is a really inspired energy the fox is that divination is in this card right and it, and it's he's inspired so they say he's a player because he doesn't settle down this fire element Man, man, our knight. No, he's not ready to sit down. He's not the king. All right, this guy's still looking. He's spiritually searching, and so I see it. This guy is turning over rocks. So you might be on a new spiritual quest, or you might have some guy that's like looking at this and that's around. But this is probably you looking at your spiritual quest, and, and you inside of your strength and your stability of what you've created. All right, Libra. Thank you for being here. Thank you very much. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Please hit like and subscribe, and I will catch you in the elemental tea next week. Oh, right, Libra. So, next I have Aquarius. Oh, what do we got, Aquarius? What do we got, Aquarius? There's one. Uh, two more for Aquarius for this Equinox. I'm going to take both of them. As I said, two, and they jump too. Why not? Okay, two more for Aquarius. We have Risk Your Mind. All right, you've been going through all these insecurities. It really is saying take a breather. Take a break. All right, don't stress so much. Take some meditation. Really get into maybe your, your night meditations when you're going to bed. Put them on. I, in my in this channel, in this YouTube channel, there is a vibes uh, folder. Have a look. If you're looking for some vibes, there's plenty of different vibes in there. All right. Oh, I, I would think that you need to rest your mind, right? Put it to rest, whatever that is. Because it's time for a celebration. We've got 444. This is a celebration around the, around the fire. This is our half fire. This is, you know, a celebration of family and our quest. And it is a marriage card in our four of wands. You know, where we really actually do marriage, our world, our spiritual world, our physical world, and our friends and family are all there. This is great. So I've got two fours, which is that nice rest spot. One, two, three, rest, right? And then... Oh, we move from the four to the five. It's really empowered in here. You've got the power. You've got the power to change your world. You've got the power for this marriage. You've got the power of your mind. If you to control that and just calm your mind, we've got it all here. Take a little bit of rest because it's going to be a celebration. You've got the power in your hands, Aquarius. All right. This is a wonderful place to be. Thank you very much for being here, Aquarius. Please hit like and subscribe, and I will be here next week for the Elemental Hot Tea. Catch you later.